Why the serious face? I'm reading my script. That's not very interesting. It isn't very. Script reading isn't much fun. After a year long hard work. No, no, no. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to say something similar, but not those words. Let's check out your New Year's outfit. Welcome to Dolce Vita. Oh, this week, we're going to tell everyone about New Year. New Year? What's good about New Year? Food. Okay. Is that what you're going to say in the script? Maybe, if I want. What are you going to say? <laughs> Is this your style inspiration today, Jason? Our chef is also our friend on the interview. Over here we have the crew filming the product shots of the of the desserts that we're going to be talking about today. What's this? I'm waiting for filming. Some of the perks of filming is. Oh, food! I'm so hungry! It's so cold! Thank you, our friends at the Quartz Hotel. This dish <laughs> kind of like twists your mind a little bit because it looks like a savory fish but it's like really sweet. And this too. Abalone, sea cucumber. You're wrong. It's like chocolate mousse. Where are we going? We are going out to dinner with my manager, ex-manager. Where are we going? We're going to Wan Chai. We go Wan Chai for dinner. We're now going to get a little something to end this week's vlog. This week's vlog's been a bit short, so this little something is very special. Uh, we're now back back anywhere. We're now at Ives. Yes, in search of this one thing. It's very special. It's gonna be an anti-climax. Everyone's gonna be anticipating what's that one thing, what's that one thing. It's like, oh. Today I went to school. It is starting term. When it was playtime, I played football with Gorgor, Mark and Andrew. It was fun after school. I watched the Sooty Show. What is the Sooty Show? Uh, a child's program that was made with a bunch of puppets. And how come you know how to write Gorgor in Chinese? It's impressive. Very impressive. How old were you? I was 10. January 7th, 1988, 29 years ago, when Jason was 11 years old, he wrote this beautiful piece of writing. Today I have to write R-I-G-H-T. <laughs> this because I'm trying to sleep. Do not read any further because days is going to be no more. This is like the end of the world or something. <laughs> what is days? T-H-E-Y-S. Days is. You understand. <laughs> Basically, stuff was as exciting in 1988 as it was in 1987. Mm -hmm. Life was just fun. Simple. Oh my god, this is a lot to read. Can you even read your own writing back then? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, so in 1989, uh, also on the same date, January the 7th, this is what I wrote. Today I woke up and went swimming squad. After swimming, mum asked us if we wanted to sleep, but we were too refreshed. <laughs> when we got home, we watched TV with William and Ming Ming. After watching TV, we had breakfast. 
Mum said we could play water pistol and we did. Joe was the one who was shot most because he was a baddie. The die uncle came out. Uh, die uncle is the older uncle, the older brother of my, my mother. Die uncle. The die uncle came out and we took our pistols and shot him lots of times. After that, die uncle went out with his wife and his wife's sister while we all stayed at home and played. Dad said William tricked him by not watching TV and William thought he was for real. And William ran upstairs and started crying and mum had to give him sweets to calm him down. When Dai Uncle and the others came, we had dinner. It was very good. Tasty was crossed out. I assume it wasn't very tasty. <laughs> Gerald was least oh Gerald was last again and William played army with Ming Ming, Gogo and I. The we to sleep I all tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. The grammar's all messed up at the end. And the ripe old age of twelve mm. stuff gets a bit hectic. It's all very well written. <laughs> okay, so Ming Ming and William are his cousins. Oh yeah. Yeah. Gerald is his younger brother and Gogo is obviously his older brother. But as you can see, uh, when you reach the age of twelve you write a lot more. Life is more fruitful. You basically, you listed out what everyone was doing. Yeah. There's more writing there. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. So having read all these breathtaking excerpts from my diaries, from we've got 87, 88 and 89, that leads us to... Leads us to this. This is what we were looking for earlier on. So um, we bought a brand new diary for 2018. We're going to start writing a daily entry into this diary every day. Either him or Maybe me. not every day, but I think it would be good to get into the habit of writing stuff and remembering little things that if you don't read, you wouldn't know happened. Does that make sense? I mean, there are other ways of, you know, recording our daily activities like vlogging or, you know, on, on social media. It's actually quite cute to open up his previous diaries and read his, read his messages and also the way he writes. I guess it's easy with technology nowadays. You can take pictures and videos whenever you want. But there are so many uh, thoughts that come into your head and uh, things that happen to you that if you didn't write them down, you'd forget them really easily. So we've got this. Just to remember little you know, things that we talk about. Hmm. And we know that 2018 is going to be a pretty exciting year. So yeah. thought it would be a great time to start now. Should we finish up by reading another entry from for tomorrow? January the 8th. Which one? Do you have an entry for January the 8th? Yeah, I think they all start off, all these diaries start off really well at the beginning of the year. And then they kind Very of... diligently. Kind of end up nowhere. Let's read 88, exactly 30 years ago. What? <laughs> very <laughs> contradicting. It's a, a great reflection of how people get very lazy very quickly. It's very, very short. We're going to end this vlog with this one liner I am not writing. 